Good rising, good rising, you delicious indigo beings of the indigo room. I'm back. I'm back with another message. I don't typically do morning messages, right? And uh, not on YouTube anyway. I usually do good rising messages to the group, you know, that we have, the indigo room group. Anyway, after I did all that, I was receiving a download that was necessary. I was told I have to do this right now. And so I need to get this out to you guys, to, you guys, um, to all the indigos. So we had um, yesterday, I did a collective reading for indigos and we pulled two cards. One was the high priestess, the angel of power, Okay. And the other one was the lovers, the angels of commitment. Right there. And it's really important that I get this message to you, right? So just hang in there with me for a minute. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Uh, I, this is not that this is just a message that has to get out. The download, the download that I received this morning was that indigos protect your energy. Your energy is your abundance. Your energy is your abundance. Let me say that again. Your energy is your abundance. It is not the things that are outside of you. It's not your job. It's not your money. It's not um, how you look, what you have in the outer world. It's not your clothes. It's not your credit score. It's none of those things. It's none of those things, okay? It's none of those things. If I could just step inside of you and tell you that, it's none of those things. It's your energy frequency. And there are people that are in your energy frequency right now that that need to be gone okay and they're holding your they're holding you back that and you're and you are afraid to let go or you feel guilt about letting those things those those relationships go or you feel fear about letting those relationships go that's your fear and your frequency your underlying frequency, your underlying vibration is one of fear, right? And that is what's blocking, that is what's blocking your success, that underlying frequency. Sure, you'll have things, you'll have stuff show up for you, you'll have, you know, little manifestations. Oh, yeah, I did this, or, you know, but I was doing the law of attraction and then this little thing came in. Yeah, great, wonderful. But your overall frequency has to change. And that fear, that fear is, is permeating instead of faith. And our collective reading, like I said yesterday, like, like I just said this, this morning, so I'm sorry, my, my tongue is getting tied because they're like, this is what we want you to, this is what, this is the message. Okay. I have 12 guides. They're all talking at once. They're like jumping around, right? Um, the two cards that we pulled was talking about the angels of commitment and the angel of power and for you you have to allow these old relationships to be gone be done be finished okay and to stay out of your frequency because they have been blocking your manifestations i know right you saying what what does that got to do with me having money get listen to what i'm saying let those relationships be done this is very powerful for you to be able to do to move your frequency to a different vibration and this is not the time to dwell in guilt or remorse this is the time to rejoice because as indigos you have a grand opportunity right now to step into your divine power and your gifts your gifts are coming online. They want to come online. However, if you 
don't step up and let those old relationships that have been blocking you go, you're going to have some difficulty doing the thing that you, you chose to come here to do. I don't know what that is. Only you and your guides know what that is. However, you can connect. Um, you can, when you start connecting with your guides, you'll start to get an understanding, a feeling of what it is that you, you'll start to get a remembering of what it is that you chose to come here to do. It is so important right now. I don't typically do good rising messages on YouTube, on the Indigo Room. They were like, you have to do this, you have to do this. So the two, the two um, cards that we pull, you have the angel of power. You have this power. Follow your intuition. Trust your intuition. So if you've been getting some sort of messages or some sort of clarity about relationships, I don't care how long they have been. I don't care if it's family. I don't care who it is. If you've been getting some sort of guidance about some somebody that's in your frequency right now, and you're having struggles and you're going, I don't know, I don't know. Let it go, let it go, right? Call on the angel of power, call on Archangel Michael to cut those cords and be done. Send them love, like we talked about last night. Send them love, like the power of a thousand suns and return any kind of energy back to the sender because it's your frequency that has to change and then commit commit to the new whatever that may be it could be a new job it could be a new like i said last night it could be a new relationship it could be new friends it could be a new place that you're moving to there's going to be a lot of energy shifts for a lot of different different indigos right now i don't know where you are on the timeline i don't know what's going to happen but this message is going to be a profound message for you when you find it, whenever that time may be. But I have a feeling that a lot of you are going to find it pretty quickly. And so pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. There's a message in there for you to change your frequency, protect your energy. Your energy is your abundance. I felt like it, it was like right here. It was... <laughs> I got it out. Okay, everybody's clapping. They're saying, yay, yay, yay. All right? So protect your energy. Your energy is your abundance. Your energy, your energy is your abundance. Your frequency, your vibration has to change. I love you. Have a great day today. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Like, leave a comment below if this resonated with you at in any way, shape or form. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.